Hello guys, this is Herman again, another Just My Review and well, I have to do this video, quick video, because I got the request for a few of you guys asking me if when you guys remove the Verizon router if it's possible installing another router to see the guide and well let's see if you guys are able or not stay tuned and let's go and do it right now you guys can see i have my asus router right here next to my old verizon fios router and I said all is because they got a new Verizon Fios uh, wireless router. The reason why I'm not using this is, as you guys know, the range. The range is not good. And for that reason, I am using this uh, Asus router. And I cannot complain. The uh, AX11000 Pro is one of the best routers for me for my house in range for everything i'm using and the reason why i'm doing this video again is not to show you guys the capabilities of this uh, router or how it works or what is uh, why the router is so good no the thing i'm doing this video is to show you guys basically that without the verizon fios you guys can still use the guide in your tv the DVR and anything because you guys are being asking me if these settings in your regular TV works using basically your ASUS router. All right, and let me show you guys. You guys can see it's not plugged, no wires at all, and everything right here in the back is connected. And now, as you guys can see, the uh, light is on in my ASUS router and let's go back to my TV and see how it looks like. Okay guys, here we are and as you guys can see, well, this is the guide. You guys can see the timings. You guys can see the channel right there. We can go to the, uh, wait, can you put the uh, uh, DVR? We got a DVR service and everything is working fine. No problems at all. Let's stay one of those, like I can be that one. Yeah. And you guys can see that recording. It's an old recording. And you guys can see everything on demand. You guys can see basically uh, uh, movies. You guys want to watch TV shows, uh, networks, and basically everything. Everything is working as intended. I, I'm assuming if we can see any programming using the uh, Fios, the Verizon guide and everything, you guys can use any router. Uh, that's why my assumption, probably because you guys using maybe a different router, it doesn't mean it's not gonna work. Well, I'm using an Asus and everything is working fine as you guys can see. And let me show you how is my connection because basically I got everything connected to my router wireless for certain things and I using a Mocha connection that is this Mocha connection for those guys that probably don't know what it is. I got it in previous videos how I did my installation, but that's basically the uh, cable coming from the box downstairs or basically from the Verizon. And the Mocha system works with like this. Let me show you right here. I have my Nvidia shield right there. I got my Mocha connection and I got my hub right there. And the connection goes like this, okay. This is the cable from uh, basically the wall, right? Then from here, if you guys follow the cable, it's going to be connected right here to this guy right here. You guys see? We got this connection. This is splitter. This is basically the wall. And this one is going to my mocha. And this one right here is coming to the box right here. This is the uh, Verizon, uh, as you guys see right there. This is the Verizon uh, DVR. And well, the white cable is coming here, right over there. And 
this one converts the uh, signal. Let me show you. This is the uh, mock I'm using, the Go Coax. And so far, this one has been working for me. It's more affordable than the other brand. And this guy transformed, like I told you guys, the signal right here. And I send the signal to the hub. And I split the signal, convert it from the hub to a ethernet connection, basically to internet. And I got these ethernet connections and I use one for my Nvidia Shield, another one for my TV and another one for my, um, my um, basically my Onkyo. And that's how it works. Uh, the other wire right here basically is the uh, power that is right there. You guys can see it right there. That's the power. And when you guys got the three dots blinking like the way it is in here, it means everything is working smoothly. I got basically three. Uh, let me see. I got one, two, three, four. And I decided to use this instead of use a long range router. And the reason why is because nowadays everything is easy to hack. And you know, the more range you got outside your house is the more uh, chances you guys have to be hacked. All right, that's what I'm doing it. It's, it's all depends where you live. I live in an area that is a lot of basically in the city. And, uh, but if you live right in the, uh, outside the city and you got a big farm or a big house separated from one to each other in a big distance, probably you, you guys are not going to have those uh, requirements. But in my case, that's what I need to do because uh, basically uh, I was a, a few times to get hacked and uh, things got I blocked it have to do a lot of changes and you know it's, it's kind of uh, uh, sometimes hard to have it in a safe way all right well that's how I have it basically using the regular Verizon um, Fios router remember you have to use basically this coax and basically the uh, Ethernet connection from the outside both of them in order to have the guide and everything working fine that's what i was told by the guy from verizon i don't know how real is that i never used this by itself uh, i use it just to have internet but honestly i didn't check if i really need i remember i was told by them that i need this coax connected I don't know exactly what is going on, but um, probably it's because I'm using the coax on my um, connection outside. And basically I got coax connection all over the place. Basically I got a setup right there. I got a bunch of wires and the coax inside that little box right there that is connected to my ASUS router. And uh, let me show you where is this connection coming from. Basically, as you guys can see right there, that wire is going all around there. And it's coming over here. As you guys see it, this cable right here basically is the one that is the uh, ethernet from the main box from downstairs. Basically, it's in the garage. And as you guys see, look at this. Uh, I love this wire. Is I can put it all the way against that, and it's a Cat8 cable. Let me see if you guys can see it right there. But basically, that's the specifications. High speed cut. Let me see right there. You guys see it right there? You guys see, you guys can, probably can do a zoom in. You guys can see the Cat8 right there. And it's coming uh, in, from that end right there as you guys see right there all the way here and that's how it's connected and i got no problems basically i cannot i can't complain 
Asus has been a nice, nice router. I love my Asus. I got a ton of devices. I got uh, my NAS, I got uh, a few computers, I got phones, and all the basic things we have in home, guys. Well, I think this video is being long right now to show you just these guys, but if you guys wanna do this installation, just take a look and check basically the uh, uh, video I'm gonna have at the end of this one where I installed the Mocha and uh, just replace your Fios router for one of these guys. And well, guys, that's it for today, okay? Well, guys, see you guys later in another Just My Review. And well, there you have it. God bless you all. Subscribe and see you guys later. Bye-bye.